Hello everybody, Crips here, and once again, thanks for joining me. So I've been away of late, so hence the uh, lack of tutorials, but fear not, I'm back. I'm back to do another one, and what am I doing today? I'm doing uh, Rotopen, which is one of the new filters from uh, version 5. And what is Rotopen? Well, Rotopen uh, allows you to highlight uh, certain things, like uh, you want to put a circle around a picture and say, this is my friend. Uh, and most commonly you'll find that it is a pretty cool feature for uh, when you went on a trip somewhere and you wish to show the world where you went and how you went there. So let's grab a photo of a map and I have here the map of Australia. So I'm going to go uh, into my FX filter, highlight my roto pen, click and drag and release, double click customs filter and here we are so this is my uh, editing path so here I can then show where I went now uh, there is no undo feature here so if you make a mistake unfortunately you have to start again but you know this program is so simple to use it it really doesn't matter so let's go from Perth to Uluru that's my first leg of the journey uh, I had a rest and then went from Uluru to Victoria Victoria I went by sea to Brisbane and then uh, I partied hard in Brisbane, got in a plane, absolutely drunk and uh, flew away. <laughs> yeah, I was flying the plane, right? So, okay, that's the route that I took and now I can actually uh, change how this looks. So let's go to next and let's just drag this out a bit. So we've got path, symbols and timing. So what is the path? Well, this is technically the path here from one to two um, so here is my first path and I can change the way this path looks now I have a preview window so it shows me exactly my path if I don't want the preview window I can use this as an icon and it'll toggle it off but I like it all right so right now it's just a boring old white line and I can change that I can change that by using my path here extend it and I can have an option now of uh, the various way it looks and I'm going to go for the blue one and again if I look at my preview window it is now blue okay so um, how did I go from Perth to Uluru well I, I was quite insane and anybody that lives in Australia will agree with me when I tell them I rode my bicycle to the center of Australia and I can hear people go that man is mad so what type of symbol am I doing well I'm going to use a bicycle so I'm, again I'm going to extend my preview window or my travel symbol and I'm going to look for a bicycle and there's one here click on it once my preview window will now show me a bicycle I'm just going to go into the larger screen so for people who have a small there you go I'm quite drunk there and it's going pretty fast because the length of my clip is very very short so I'm just going to have to uh, make my clip longer and I can show you even though you've got a small clip it uh, you can actually slow that down so there you go what have I got it on here now eight seconds so uh, let's just extend it a bit more all right so let's slow it down a bit here we go so there's my little bicycle now unfortunately my bicycle guy is riding it backwards now I'm, I said I'm insane for riding a bicycle to Australia but I'm not crazy right is there a difference I don't know all right so let's have a look at my bicycle again so as you can see here's my bicycle and it's going backwards but I can change that I can go into my symbol and retrace route extend it and this gives me the options of which or what my icon is doing uh, if I just highlight on it it'll give me a preview and this looks like I really really find my timeline or my route so I'll, I'll choose this one so now as you can see it's uh, pointing in the right direction cool okay let's go to the next path and now I drove my car so I'm going back to symbol uh, I drove a car retrace route and now I've added the car feature in here there you go little cars driving along all right uh, I sailed from Melbourne to uh, Brisbane so I'm going to use a little sailing boat there you go sailing boat coming up and then I flew 
on an airplane and went home, okay? All right, now, before I go uh, with this part, there is obviously something else you can do. You can also have how these routes come into play or leave the screen if that's what you wish to do. So let's say I'm going back to path. Uh, right now it's on auto, so it'll do automatically what you see here, a white line and it's so forth. But you can change all that. You can have how you wish the path to come into effect. If you highlight in any one of these, it gives you a little preview screen like this one. Splits and goes off both directions. Uh, this one, as you can see, was very similar. It just follows the path that you took. Uh, what's this one? So from the other direction. I think this one... There we go. So it has a slightly different feature. And it's the same with the effect out. So how do you wish the the uh, timeline or your route to disappear and like so. Okay, once you're happy with everything, press apply and then we can preview it. Let's go back to the beginning so we can see the, the little bicycle going along. There you go. Car. I sailed and then I was mad and flew on a plane. Cool. So as you can see, the, the uh, roto pen is very, very simple to use. All right. And I'll show you another f quick feature, what else you can do with roto pen. Like I mentioned before, it's not just for showing routes of where you went on the map. So let's grab this little picture, extend it out. All right. So here's a, a bodybuilder and uh, you're doing maybe a tutorial. I don't know. And you wish to show someone uh, where to work out like your, your deltoid area and you say well this is it here now instead of you using your mouse you can do a little bit more professional FX filter uh, highlight your rotate pen click and drag customs filter and it's just simple like yeah and this is the uh, area we're working on uh, ladies and gentlemen press next now you want to highlight it and then you wish to hold it okay so otherwise it's just going to draw the circle to the length of the clip and then that's it but you can change that with the timing so at the end I want it to get there relatively fast and then I want to hold it there for about five seconds so let's do that a five second hold at the end of my clip and apply so let's have a look so here we go it goes around I'm talking yeah and this is the deltoid area and now it will hold and stay there and I can speed up how fast I wish to, to go. And I can do that two ways. I could shorten the clip itself. But if it's a video clip, then you have a problem. If it's a, if it's a picture, um, all you need to do, or sorry, if it's a picture, it's easy. But if it's a video clip, you have a problem. Then again, timing. And then you can do the painting speed here. So obviously, the higher the number, the faster it will paint. The slower the number, yeah, you guessed it. So, and that's how simple it is to use the Roto Pen filter. And as always, thanks for watching.